We thank God for today. Thank God for another opportunity to gather in his presence. We are grateful to God for every opportunity God grants to us. Uh, we do not take them for granted. I do not take every opportunity that God has given to me to fellowship with you, my brothers and my sisters. And um, we know that when we get to heaven, how many of us imagine fellowship when we get to heaven? When we get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing it, it will be, right? It says when we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout for victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people's hallelujah has gone zero because I said when we get to heaven. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like, God, I still have like 15 hours I need to build. Yeah, you will get to help. <clears throat> so it's a when. Don't make it if. Huh? So ensure it is when. That is a matter of time. It's not a matter of option. Hallelujah. So I, and I believe every one of us here, you have that plan. Yeah. See, anything that will interrupt that plan <laughs> is your main enemy. The thing that would ensure you don't see your maker and you won't be ashamed. Do you get? Ensure, ensure you live your life fighting against anything that will truncate. Uh, you, if you do entrepreneurship and you lose heaven, there's no entrepreneurship in heaven. There's no SME, small, medium, and enterprise, or small and medium enterprises. There's no SME. There's no startup. There's no startup. There's no. Uh, there's there's nothing like that. So we are careful to ensure that we are not doing anything that will truncate that opportunity. It's like it's a window. You are ensuring you are living your life <clears throat> not just accountable to men, but accountable to God. That on the last day, you would, we would all answer to God. You know? And uh, the only thing that would not make us ashamed is that we were prepared to be before him. That's, that's, that's a beautiful thing. That a man can be living right here and then you are ready to see your maker. Is that not beautiful? Yeah. If it's not tingling a joy in you as I'm saying it, there's a problem. It's either one sin is in the cupboard that you need to uh, deal with or you just need to even repent. You know, for the kingdom of God is at hand. You know, repent, give your life to Christ and live a life that is sponsored by heaven, that is sponsored by Jesus. But one day, all of us, all of us, the Bible says it is appointed for a man to die once. And after that is what? Judgment. It's judgment. There is no uh, Baba Tundeo. You know Baba Tundeo? I didn't want to say Ye Tundeo because Ye Tundeo is here. <laughs> but it's the same. Ye Tundeo and Baba Tundeo. There is no reincarnation. They are not, they are not coming back anywhere. You know, if, I, if I come in another life. You know, ah, you are, you are gone. You are gone. There's no, nobody's even planning to bring you back. Like, no, like even the people that want to burn, they don't, they're like, this one has gone, let him go. <laughs> let God send another. Nobody is planning to bring, uh, to bring anybody back. You understand? So don't look forward to uh, one family that will be praying and trusting God to bring you to bring you back. They are not coming back anywhere. There are many people that want to come back too. Is it now you they will allow uh, to come back? <laughs> but I did not come back. Uh, Galileo did not come back. Is it they are struggling for that much that they want to bring back? Please, let's, let's know who wants to come back and who does not want to come back. You get so so when we, when we get to heaven, you won't even want to come back. Even you. So that thing of Baba today is you, you will be cursing people praying it. You'll be cursing them. Because what your eyes would even see. You know, even the glory that we can see while we are here. 
is magnificent. Not to talk of when you will now see him. When you go to meet him in heaven. It's, it's, you will curse everybody that is wishing you didn't live. You understand? But our prayer also is that we would live when we have finished our assignment. You know, we would, none of us would live with regret. You know? That's one place people have a lot of regret. Because everything just suddenly rushes into their mind. I have not done this, I have not done this, I have not done this. So we would leave expired. Done. Done. All the songs you will write, too, you will write everything. Yeah. You write everything. You will, everything, you will release everything. Everything that God has put in our hearts, we will do everything. You know, there will not be one that, as you are transiting from earth to heaven, you don't remember. Remember, I do, I do, I do, I do, no? <laughs> Yeah, no, every, every, it's, it's, it's something to be aware of that you need to finish. You need to finish everything that God, at times, if you have seen, uh, what am I doing, what am I doing, ah, God, show it to Tony, you know, ask. And I know as long as there's still breath in your soul, there's still work. There's still work. You are still made for good works. There's still good works that are yet to be done. And that's why you don't tell people it's finished. Or you don't tell yourself that I'm finished. You know, there's still more. No matter where you have spoiled it, which you can take it back to God. You can say, God, if it's more deadly, let your grace pick it from here. Yeah. And so don't, uh, and that's why it says, now is the day of salvation. Now. It's not, I wish it was 25 years. If it didn't happen 25 years ago, it's okay. It can happen now. Don't, because another 25 years will now come. And if you don't allow that to happen, you will say 50 years ago. Do you understand? So we are grateful to God for the privilege to be able to do life here. It's a privilege, honestly, that you can, you can look beside you, your left and your right, and you see the essence of God. It's something to be grateful for. It's something to every morning you can say, thank you, Jesus, that I'm, I'm here again, here to do purpose, here to... I remember then... There are many of us, the reason why we read Purpose Driven Life is because we knew we didn't have purpose. <laughs> we battled, we battled with purpose. Some of us that didn't even read then, we gave in to, ah, Bawale, good to see you. Welcome back. From some of us, it was do what you can do that you, they will not pay you money. But later, we now saw a person that told us that's no purpose. We were confused again. So what's purpose? Some of us just even admit my purpose is to serve God. Yeah, I shall cannot kill myself. <laughs> and they said, I want to is right. They said, okay, let me stay there before some other thing will meet me uh, that God will bring. And so we are, we are grateful for life to do purpose. You know, I, I read the book, Purpose Driven Life, and it helped me. You know, if you are, if you are here and maybe you are in that uh, place, you know, I'm, I'm saying you are in the right place because... The word of God preaches his purpose to you. His purpose is his will for you. So when you hear that this is the will of God for you or for mankind, that's where you find purpose. For example, your purpose is that you would always bring glory to God. So everything you do, you ensure that glory and adoration returns back to God. So for example, the, the wisdom that God has displayed through the life of our sister, the testimony she shared, she will give back God all the glory. Because that's our purpose. Our purpose, and that's what we're looking at today, flowing in the supernatural. Because that's our purpose. Our purpose is that when men see our lives and they look at their life or their lives, there will be that clear distinction that what powers this life is different from what is powering their own life. Hallelujah. The things that will get them frustrated, they will know that it doesn't get us frustrated. The things that will get us agitated or that will get us to be all touchy and irritating, it doesn't hit us. But it's because you're, we have told ourselves that this our life is God's tool to reveal himself to mankind. Yeah, I, I want to appear every day to humanity and they know that this is a sign that God rules in the affairs of men. Yeah. That when they hear the story, they'll be like, man cannot do this. Only God can do this. So that's what we're looking at today. 
flowing in there. Please let me put capital S. Uh, it's a. Um, no, don't worry. Just put capital S. Don't worry. Don't let me be explaining. It's not English class. Hallelujah. Amen. But the capital S just tells me. It gives it the vibe that we are talking about the supernatural, flowing in the supernatural. How many of us like this topic? Yeah. Whether you like it or not, <laughs> is, is, is what we are talking about. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who yeah. will affect anything. I'm serious. Like, literally, he does it, he affects nada. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah, thank you, everyone, for celebrating. I didn't know my wife would give testimony of... Uh... No, don't clap again. Don't clap again. Now, the clap now has made me remember that you celebrated your birthday yesterday. Shola. So whether you did this for show or for love, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, happy birthday to you, Shola. And happy birthday, Daniel. Yesterday was Shola's birthday. I'm sure... I don't know how many spoken words Dazu would have spoken, but, <laughs> but even Oluwa will start speaking very soon, and our grace will rest upon him. Yeah. But I think it's a way it mix. He will also be dancing. So the daddy dances, mommy speaks. So I can It's like a wonder that we're waiting to see. Actually, for me personally, I'm I'm biased towards Oluwa. Like I'm like I'm waiting. I'm waiting for him to grow. Honestly. He's going to be an amazing young man. Hallelujah. And so is all our children. You know? And that's also one of the things we'll read today, in, which is in Isaiah. It says, I am the children that God has given to me. They are for signs and wonders. That's why we're looking at this thing, flowing in the supernatural. Yeah. And, and we have a lot to do this uh, year. You know, when Papi ruled out some of the things we are doing this year, we found out that the year is short. Honest, like, <laughs> is there some things yesterday I'm like, oh my goodness, Father, help me. Yeah. Wisdom is good. When you have it, people will love you. And people will desire it as well. I was just, I was in love with Papi. I was just talking like, ah, oh, help me, help me. It was amazing hearing from them. And, you know, Holy Flight is, is our consecration period. You know, let's, for some of us, just fast, you know. Pray and fast during that period so that you can, you can be on the momentum of heaven. You know, don't, don't casualize it. Take that as your own consecration. And even if church does not declare, but you declare it for yourself. You know where you are with God. And you know you need this. We all need this, but we also need, all need this at different levels. Do you understand? And you know, harvest, there's 100, there's 60, there's 30. So you determine which size it is. Yeah. Determine your own harvest. Do you get So prepare. Prepare. When you see harvest coming, you prepare. Gather your, when you see rain coming, gather your bucket. So is, if the woman did not prepare so many jars, the problem is she stops where her faith stops. You get The flow stops where her faith stops. So gather, gather as many as you want to feel. Do you understand? So let's, let's ensure we have our heart. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs, it says the preparation of the heart is in the hand of the man. It's not God that prepares our heart to receive. That's why we pray when we're starting service. That is not, God is not bound to prepare your heart. Even the charge we, we give is not to prepare your heart. It's, it's to help your heart prepare. Do you, get you can still hear that and your heart is still not prepared. So please, you know, one thing I do personally, I put meetings on my calendar because it also helps me as you are planning your schedule and all of those things, you are planning with it. You are seeing this time, I'm checking out of uh, work so that I can rest, then I'm available by 10 p.m. You, know, you want to walk to the point where you can't be alive. Then you have slept like mortal men. <laughs> and you are trusting that your wife's prayer will who reach you. <laughs> Say, they should bad rough. No, don't be like that. Dige, just be both of you be, they, tell us they don't don't cook and they yam for us. Do you get? Don't now be asking. It's not this time you should be saying, please, I say pandemic at 9 p.m. 
then you don't want to be alive then to pray. You won't pray. You won't pray. You will sleep. You get so. I'm also saying this to those that uh, eat heavy. You know, that's one way to prepare, prepare as well. During that period, you just be doing cereal. You and, your, you and your child be taking the cereal. If the cereal finishes during that period, buy another one. Cereal might help you stay awake. But if you're if you going to start eating a bar or heavy meals, uh, you will be those who always say, and those that will not join the meeting. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. And also, we are so grateful to God for the meeting that will be happening in Ilupeju. You know, we're so grateful to God. We're thankful. And I'm also happy for Jones as well. It's, you know, when I always say it's my learned colleague, learned colleague. Maybe this is what I'm even saying, I didn't know. That it will soon, God will soon give them a mandate. Hallelujah. Can you look at your neighbor and say, if he be you, next one. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, if, 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 Jerry, if Jerry is sent, his church will be like a, a DV kind of church. He will be preaching with guitar. I'm a son in the backside of the mountain. <laughs> that church, you will enjoy that church. Because the word of God will just be flowing smoothly. It's not like me that I can't sing that. Uh, no, you just be flowing smoothly. It will put song. It will add the word of God again. You just is a full meal you'll be eating. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we thank God that we can be used of God and we can be sent. You know, that's why it says, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are blessed for being sent. Yes. You are blessed. So we thank God. So this meeting, every one of us will be there. You know, the vehicles, the cars, you know, we'll be getting ready to, you know, move everybody there. If we need to get buses, I mean, Bill, please let's ensure we also put that in the planning. Uh, these are the things Papi mentioned specifically. So everybody should be there. Everybody, those that came for first service and those that are here and those that didn't even make any of the services, we should emphasize that everybody should be there. And if you live in any of the areas that uh, Bolade mentioned, you know, Fadei, Chibou, Ilupeju, even Oshodi, uh, you know, maybe my two. You know, Yaba, Mushin, yeah, uh, Maryland, and all those places, all those axes that connect into uh, Ilupeju. Please ensure you are there. Ensure you are also working with uh, the people working already. Ask, what can I do? Uh, first, what you can do is invite people. Yes. You know, invite as many people as needs to be there and, you know, that you know should be there as well. So please, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Then also, we are also preparing to receive Papi again in Nigeria. Yeah. So, like we always say, all protocols are duly observed, you know. And if you recently joined us, we actually mean that thing. It's as though we carry it on our, on our head with shuku, you know. What you also used to hold the thing to ensure it doesn't fall. Yeah, we take that seriously because we want to receive everything that God has blessed him with to bless us. And we don't want any hindrance. We don't want to be, any, we don't want to be a problem. So we are doing everything knowing fully well that God has sent his son to minister to us. And we are receiving all that he has brought. So uh, let's get ready. So we are moving into May. A lot will be happening, so please don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Plan. You know, anything you don't plan for, you are the most, you are a wise person because you have the wisdom of failure. Quote, papi. Yeah, it's papi that says that. When a man, let me say it again, when a man doesn't plan, he is wise because he has the wisdom of failure. Yeah. Quote, you can quote it. Yeah, so papi said that. You can put dates yesterday. It. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I said that before, but yeah, I said that yesterday. Say that to us. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
So, we're looking at flowing in the supernatural, right? Yeah, I think I've done all the intros I wanted to do. And let's, let's read again the scripture that I paraphrased. Um, Isaiah, thank you. He said, here am I. Can we look at 17? Then we read six, uh, 18. Thank you, Jesus. You know, every time we meet, there's always an increasing and unusual, graceful presence of God. And I'm telling it to you because you need to be aware that you are not in Ojodu GCC. You are in the house of God. Now, that house of God now has its own name. You are in the house of God. And anytime you are in the house of God, as long as that reverence is there, his presence is there. His presence is there. He is here with us. He is here. He is, he is right beside you. God is right, what? Beside. Like he's here with each one of us. Like he's, he's, he's the one whispering the sermon to you, not me. Do you understand? So if you are too engrossed, like you are looking too much at me, you forget that he's closer to you than, than me. So his presence is here. Thank God for the worship. You know, one of the prayers I prayed when we were singing the worship is, is that pure stream will keep waxing stronger. Yeah. You know, stronger, and they will not look at anybody's face. Yeah. Because they are, they are a troop, and they are like the prophecy of Jewel. Their feet is faster than the horses that they use for war. They don't look at people. They don't look at men. They, don't look, they look at their assignment. And they are, they are fasting on getting everybody that needs to be uh, introduced into that world of people who are sold out in worship. And people that they have the ability and the capacity to appreciate the essence of God. Yeah, that's the ability of worship. He says, he says we, know, we don't know what we worship. But now we know that those that will worship God, they will worship him in spirit and in truth. So you understanding the essence of God gives you the ability to, wo- to give true worship. When someone just say, Obamimo, when you don't know holiness, you have lied. You have told a lie. When you don't know what holiness is, you are the one always in sin. You don't know what holiness is, you are telling a lie. That's not worshiping in truth. Truth is the revelation that you've received. So they are helping us to appreciate the essence of God. Then we can worship. We can worship together collectively. From here, some of us, we now have better insight on how to even worship. Right? That is not about piano. It's not fast. It's not slow. It's, it's where the heart is. And I'm praying again that God will make them keep growing stronger and stronger. Yeah. They will not look at our faces. Even as the Lord propels them to the nations, they will not look at the faces of the nations. They will, they, will not know, they will know a notion that is better than the other. Yeah. They will not know where culture should quickly infiltrate their message. No. They will give it pure and it will be seamless. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 8, 17. And I will wait on the Lord who hides his face from the house of Jacob. And I will hope in him. Here am I and the children whom the Lord has given me. We are for signs and wonders in Israel. So in this nation, we, we, we are for signs and wonders. On this earth, we are are for signs and wonders. We, or I, and the children. And if you're here, if you don't have a, uh, you've not married or you don't have a child, it's me and the children. Yes. Yeah, it's everything God has given to you. Yes. Whom the Lord has given me. So my essence, my being, and everything that is associated with me, everything that comes out of my loins, they would only be for sign and wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts who dwells in Mount Zion. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Now, this would take us into what we're looking at today, which is we are, we're trusting God that the supernatural, which is what we have been called to experience, we will be able to have an increased flow and even start flowing for some. You know, it won't be a mystery that has never happened with you. And even for some, it will be something you now flow in seamlessly. Hallelujah. Amen. Not, not on event basis. No, it's something that you can flow and you are flowing in every day of your life. That they can look at you and they say everything with you and with all that has come out of you, they've only reproduced and are producing signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, can we look at uh, John where he talked about as many as have believed him, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He says, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right. So let me first say, flowing in the supernatural is a right. It's not a privilege. As a child of God, see, the reason why some of God's children, in quotes, don't flow in the supernatural is because they see it as a privilege given to only a few. So when they see one person flowing, is, we rank at the day, the person, we quickly give him the elevated position, high table, most preferred option, because we know if he gets angry, uh, our own is done. You know, that experience of there's a Moses and the children of, no, Flowing in the supernatural is the right of God's children. Jesus even said, is the bread of the children. Particularly healing. Is the bread. Is the bread. Is the, is the right of a child of God. When a child of God is not flowing in the supernatural, don't conclude that they didn't mark it for you. No, don't quickly say, ah. Maybe we were just congregation. There are people uh, that God has appointed for this. For example, for example, you know, being able to to uh, to do the work of God is God that gifts His children, not a selected. So I'm saying that the ability to do the work of God, which is supernatural, you have that right. It's just the day you decide that, God, anything you want to do, use me for it. You will now know that you can do the work of God. I, I, I didn't, I, I, I mean, <laughs> I wanted to write code. Yeah, I wanted to write code. I hope that uh, they will be using the code to do something good. But doing the work of God became a possibility because of this scripture. Is the day I realize it that it will come to manifestation. Papi has given us an instance that it was just at the back of a meeting, and then the power of the Holy Ghost hit him and said, I can teach. I can teach. Now, teaching the word of God or teaching the people of God is not a natural ability. That's why orators cannot do it. People that can speak, they can't do it. But as much as it is a supernatural ability, it is also a right of God's children to walk and flow in the supernatural. It's not, a, it's not the privileged opportunity of a few. It's not for a selected few. You know, we shouldn't have a church where we, we know that only few can walk in the supernatural. No, we should have a church where as they are being had there to us, they can flow in the supernatural. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. And all of these things you will find in the book of Acts because that church was not any other thing than the church of God. 
I, I want to say it's not an ordinary church. No, the church of God is supposed to be the church of God. There's not supposed to be an ordinary, an ordinary church of God. Is, is not a good statement. I would even say it's not a statement. Because it doesn't balance. You are either the church of God or not. And in the church of God, we have the right. It is a right. It is God's privilege to all of us, his children. He says he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name. Let's read 13. Who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Let's stop there. Hallelujah. Amen. So you have the right to walk just like believers' authority, it's your right. It's not, it's not for, for a few. The authority in the name of Jesus accrued to you is your right. Because you believe. Same also as flowing in the supernatural. Now, if I, if, if I asked myself or you asked me, you know, what, what does it mean to flow in the supernatural? First of all, flowing in the supernatural connotes the fact that this has the intervention of God. Flowing in the supernatural means that who was invited into this sin? When a man says that, and as I was doing this, God did this. Now, that means that person flowed in the supernatural state of that circumstance. Flowing in the supernatural is giving a situation to God. You know, because man can do stuff. But we also know that there are things that are impossible with man. So when we say with God, all things are possible to them that believe. Now what we are saying is to that man, that man is flowing in the supernatural or the things that are that could be impossible naturally. Because when he says with man, things are impossible. But with God, all things are possible. He's saying that a man that chooses to leave the natural state and walk in the supernatural, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, but Jesus looked at them and said, with men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are what? Possible. All things are possible. So know first of all that it's, it's a right. Flowing in the supernatural is a right. Like I said, if you're not flowing in the supernatural, don't condemn or conclude that... You know some people always, they, they quickly say, Ah, Toby is Jim Jim Christian. Me, I'm not Jim Jim. I don't even know where we got that word. But they say, I'm not serious. You know? And, and people say it's okay. That, you know, I'm, I'm not like the... Uh, some of you even use English. I'm not like the religious uh, uh, type. You know? Um, and then so, you know, you know you, you're, you're very... You're very religious or committed or spiritual. You know, and all of that. You know? Somebody was asking me recently, that, are you a pastor? Ah, well, you don't always tell us to do opening prayer. In, in our body, I said, oh, God, get up, John. <laughs> yeah, which one is, uh, which one is body me? If you want to worship God, worship God. Which one is my own? Uh, and I'll be wearing tight to go, man, no. And so, it's not an excuse for us to excuse ourselves from what God has deemed our right. Yeah, because a man believes, there's a lot to one of it is that he has the authority in the name of Jesus. But another one is that he can walk in the supernatural. He can walk, he can flow in the supernatural. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, can we look at Mark chapter 16 and also see, you know, how the experience of a believer is meant to be? Verse 14. It says, later he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table. 
And he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, go into the world and preach the gospel to every kingdom. Can we quickly look at Luke chapter 9 from verse 1 to 2. You know, I want you to also know that, you know, as God has commanded us, his children, to preach, you must know that your preaching must not be outside of walking in the supernatural. So that you are not doing legality. Because there's no power of God in legality. He says, then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. Now, before now, this was never possible with them. They always watch. They always watch. When he healed the boy with leprosy or palsy, they watched. When he raised damsel, they watched. When he healed Peter's mother-in-law, they watched. They were just, they were, look, 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 they were just looking. And at times, they will be adding to their own belief. He will chase them out. <laughs> yeah, because they, they, it was, it was amusement. At times, when he just, he just, ah, Jesus, let's go and raise Lazarus. He said, no, Joe, no, Joe. I will, I will, I'm coming, I'm coming. I said, ah, what is he going to do again? First day, second day, third, ah, Jesus, we know, yeah, let's go. And bam, a man is raised. It, it would just be a lot of joy. Just watching, even some of them might be having a list of introducing them to what Jesus was doing. You know, in Isaiah 61, he told us about the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And he has anointed me. We will read those two places together. Because there's a, there's a thing I want to bring out. Which is, we are sent to preach. But we shouldn't preach without flowing in the supernatural. That's the first thing I want to say here in this place. You know, I already said it's our right. And flowing in the supernatural is that you are introducing God, the intervention of God into a matter. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we said, with God, all things are possible. With man, this one is not possible. But with God, all things are possible. Now, the, 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 the experience here was that Jesus gave the disciples because he wanted to send them out. Now, we know that after this sending, he sent 72. Amen. Amen. Or 70, sorry. He sent 70. So he gave them power and authority. Like I also said, that has never happened there was no disciple that has done anything in the power or in the authority of Jesus. Over all demons. And to cure diseases. Now, this is my emphasis. He sent them to preach the kingdom. Now, this is the, this is the pattern of outreach. Preach the kingdom and heal the sick. Not feed the people. Now, you can do any other thing after these two. But if you don't do these two, you've not done the outreach. It says, preach the kingdom and heal the sick. Now, healing of the sick, you can, you can say is sickness of the body, sickness of the soul. Yeah, there are, there are obviously sicknesses in those peripherals. The soul, the body. So yeah, some will come with madness. Some will come with, this guy does not have retentive memory. Some will come and say, this one is not, he doesn't have all God in his heart. You know, there will be different kind of what sickness. But he says, preach the kingdom and heal, tend to their sick. Because in you tending to their sick, you will be able to manifest the power I gave to you. Which is authority, power and authority over demons. And to cure diseases. So those things, they're like twine. It's not that you preaching 
will not heal the sick. Preaching will heal the sick. But you have to have it in your being that there is a faith to heal the sick here. So don't just say, ah, I've done evangelism. And you're just open to check out. And then mark your register. I went to, uh, to preach. Because in preaching, the sick will be healed. But it's more of an expectation as you go to preach. That as I am going, if there is anyone sick in this house, bring them. And then we pray for them. Because he has given the power. So it will be counterproductive. If the power is given and they were not to manifest a commandment to what to express that power, which is, it says, preach the kingdom of God and heal. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we look at Isaiah 61? Because even for our Lord Jesus, he was preaching and healing. He says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord God has anointed me to what? <laughs> to preach good tidings to the poor. He has what? Sent me to what? To heal. The anointing that came on Jesus caused him to preach and to heal. You know, there's one song, Power to Heal and Power to Save. I can't remember the song. Uh -huh. In your power to deliver, power to save, power to deliver, power to save. Okay. God knows those that came from one stream. They have, they have raised their ID card. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. So when power comes by the anointing of God, we preach and heal. Yes, sir. We preach and heal. We preach and heal. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go back to that Mark chapter 16. Verse 15. Verse 16. So it says, he who believes and he is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. 17. Then it says, and these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no... Now, all these things, they are supernatural experiences. Now, if you naturally take up a serpent, we know what will happen. If you naturally drink any deadly thing, you are dead. Yeah. You are dead. Yeah, you, you can't even hear demons. You know what happened to the seven sons of Skifa. Yeah, all of us always respect that space. And that's why some people don't want to go for outreach. Because <laughs> the very story of when the demon said, you, you fornicated yesterday. You want to come and cast me out. <laughs> You've heard those stories now. Yeah. That's why some of you don't go for outreach. You say, ah, before I'm trying to say, come out, come out. You say, you, you, you. <laughs> ah, yeah, some demons are, I, I don't know if that's really a but some demons are not nice. They want to spit shame on, on you. So you don't near. They say, ah, they're doing deliverance. They say, ah, come up, hello. I'm, I'm in the medical outreach. <laughs> I'm in the medical team. They should not come. <laughs> they should not come here. They should, they should go and they should go and handle it. So you, you can't cast out demons naturally. The oppressed. See, when they say somebody is broken hearted, you don't know the technology of fixing a broken hearted naturally. See, when when for example, if somebody has been hot and the person is maybe here, for example, we can tell you that be healed. Yes. That's the sickness of the soul. Because your hand is not broken, your leg is not broken. But the heart is fractured and it can't retain love. We will say be healed. 
be healed. The damage is taken away. Now that thing, if you go for therapy, <laughs> like therapy, 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 the one you see, I've been watching one recently that is, is the therapist that get angry. <laughs> this comedian. <laughs> do you know where, do you know my last job? <laughs> yeah, anger management. Is to cancel somebody for anger management. After is the and they brought two crazy people. There is a comedy though, but it was two crazy people that came as patients. One of them was a brochure guido. <laughs> then I can't remember the name of the yes, I think that's his that's his name. Two crazy people. <laughs> they brought out uh, words in his heart. Then after a while he was at the other side. <laughs> So that's why after the drama, you see everybody will be praying at the back. Eh? The one that acted devil, he is really praying. <laughs> he is spiritual, and he has given us power. We can flow. We can tell a demon. Out in the name of Jesus. Now, if you do it with swag, that one is your own. But out in the name of Jesus can only happen to them that believe. Because they were the ones he gave power to become the sons of God. And the children of God will preach and heal the sick. They will preach and heal the sick. They will flow in the supernatural. They will not quake at trouble. He says, they will lay hand on the sick and they will recover. Verse 19, we're going to 20. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. And yeah, because th these things are, are typologies. He's using serpents to represent many things. He's using scorpions to represent many things. Not even the literal snake or the literal scorpion. And even if it's the literal scorpion, it says if they by any means take in anything that is deadly, it will not hurt them. I remember when I was beaten by a scorpion. I was doing hide and seek. I was in our house then in Ketu. As I was hiding at the back of, so I just saw a sting, bang, and the sensation. I don't know if if you know what the sensation was there from there. They were, I think they were rushing me to Suruleri, from Ketu to Suruleri. This is someone who just died. But all the while, all the documentary I have watched on Scorpion, because I wasn't born, they were the ones that was playing in my head. How the venom would go like this, you know. You can cut that place and let it drain or suck it out. There's so many, so many. But for a child of God, even if that literally happens, because it's a deadly thing, it says it will by no means hurt you. But even things that, there are situations that protrude venom activities in the heart. It says that one, you can trample on it. Yeah. See, one, one, one thing that introduces venom into the eye is hunger. Yeah. Wow. If, if God, as a child of God, if you are not dealing with hunger, you are, you are not the true son of God. Yeah. You know when he said, should we call down fire? So he said, you don't know the manner of spirit yes. you have. He was teaching them anger money. That's the true anger management. You don't know the manner of spirit that you have. That's why I saying, let's call down fire like Elijah.
Verse 19, let's go back there. And so then, after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. Verse 20. And they went out, so they obeyed, and preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them. Now, that's flowing in the supernatural. Because you cannot go and preach, but the Lord is not walking with you. You can't do it. It says, and confirming the word through the accompany sign. Signs. Amen. Amen. So when we, when we go out, we know, see, at that job, you know the Lord is walking with you. That's how you flow in the supernatural. Yeah, they will say, ah, nobody has ever done anything outstanding in this place. Then they now give you that. Yeah, you will say, the Lord, I will not just come and do this work, but the Lord walking with me. In this place, oh, am I rich change? That's the complex of a child of God. The Lord walking with me. See, have you ever seen a town crier before? Do you know it's complex? The staff. The reason he knows you will hear him because they always say that anywhere the staff of the king is, the king is there. So he will be talking to you as though the king is beside him. And you have to hear what he says. That's the way we should be living. A tongue, you know the tongue is not afraid whether uh, uh, people will not hear me. They will not respect me. No, his, his respect is even not his concern. As a tongue right, he's, he's like... That's why Moses said, will your presence go with us? Because for them, that is the Lord walking with them. He says, go now. You guys should go. I will not deal with you guys again. He said, no. I know you. You know he's the one that knows his ways. He said, no. If he was someone that just is okay with the act, he would say, God, you are forgiving us. Ah, Eshio, thank you. And he runs away. But he, he, he said, I won't go. Forbid me to leave this mountain. He says, except you go with us. Is here we stay. So for the child of God, it is the Lord walking with you. That is your flowing in the supernatural. You will be doing what he has told you to do, but you have the mind, and your mind is set that it is the Lord walking with me. Don't, don't labor without the Lord walking with you. It won't be you flowing in the supernatural. It will just be what your head can handle. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you learning one or two things? Yes. So I've said some things about flowing in the supernatural. You know, flowing in the supernatural is also when a matter, like I said, or an issue has received the intervention of God. To release situations to the intervention of God. See, and this thing, it requires training. Because God would always bring opportunities your way. To see, choose this day. Choose this day, who, who will do this? At times, you will show. At times, maybe when it's past your power, you say, God, show. But there's always that question of, who is working now? Do you want to walk? And then come back and say, God, I've tried my power. Or even before, that's the, that, those are the people that are making it easy. Before you try your power, you have confirmed that the Lord is working with me. See, as a child of God, don't always get to roadblocks before you know that you are a child of God. Here. Yeah. Don't, don't always get to where it's difficult 
but see, but use the easy times to train yourself to master this. The when thing, for example, when you know something, when you know the outcome will be gracious. Don't go through it. And then when it's not now difficult, that's when you are now trying to practice how to get God into a situation. No, use those easy ones to quickly master. That's also how you train yourself hearing God. Don't wait until difficult situation to hear God. When there's no pressure, hear God. Because when you are under pressure and you don't want to hear God, you will hear yourself. Yes. God, should I marry him? Should I marry? But the pressure of getting married is already there. You will speak. <laughs> so you will use the times when it's easy to train you. After a while, it will become easy even in difficult times. You know, Papi always give the instance of having faith for audacious things. Yeah. It, it, it won't just start from audacious things. It will be mustard seed first. From you dealing with little, little things by faith, you will be able to deal with bigger things by faith. It's not when it's a mountain that you now be trying to uh, enact your chant. You know, it, it won't respond. Because you don't have the faith of the victories of the past. You know, for David, the reason he knew that Goliath was possible, he says, this God, because he is working with me. He made me, see, now you, you could have just, I said he was a hunter. Yeah, he can just say, ah, because I was hunting, then this one is human. They are different. No, he, 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 he made everything in the same parallel. Yes. Animal and Goliath, they are the same. So he now said, the God that made me to deal with the lion and the bear, he will give me your head. Now that is the Lord walking with him and he acknowledged it as the times of the lion and the times of the bear. So your faith cannot rise eh? when you can connect it to reference yes. or memorials. See, the reason why the patriarchs build memorials is so that they can always reference. Yes. They can say, it was at this point God helped us. See, when the ram came out from the ticket, he says, the Lord has provided Jehovah Jireh. Is is that henceforth he knows that God will be providing. So you, you don't wait until difficult moment to practice walking or flowing in the supernatural. Flow, 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 even when it is okay. Because I can't guarantee you that when it is tough, if you've not practiced, it will be easy, it will be tough. Why did you go nothing will come out? You might even shambala, shambala, it won't balance. Because at that point, there is no reference. And that's why we don't forget our blessings. We name them. So that when we now face another opportunity for God, I like that test. When the other job I got, I know I got it miraculously. That's, that's how to, so that every time you, see, some people know that you, you are in the labor market. But some people know that they are in the favor market, like we always say. Yeah, you receive according to your faith. Yes. Yeah, he knows what he's asking for and he's looking for. I said God is beside you, so he has said his own. Don't be jealous, he said his own and he was loud. If you don't do it, eh? Labor doesn't dig well with me, and I'm not in NLC. I'm not in Nigerian Labor <laughs> Congress. <laughs> Yeah, and I pray to you, you receive according to your faith. Yeah. Yeah. Let the things that were impossible, let them become possible for you. Yeah. It says, the Lord walking with them. Then he backed it with the signs. So those signs were the things he acknowledged. He says, in my name. In my name. Now, the Bible did not even record those experiences. But he says he backed their preaching with those signs. So probably you were thinking, did anybody take any deadly thing? Yes. Yeah, maybe they tried to poison somebody. One of the disciples, he didn't die. Glory to God. You know, flowing in the supernatural is also dwelling in the sufficiency of God. Because in those instances, you know that what God has done is enough. 
flowing in the supernatural is being in the godly state. And I think we've read so many scriptures around, around this, where we said, with God, all things are possible. I'll quickly run to how to flow in the supernatural. But I think maybe the last thing uh, that I said, which is much around making it easy, is that flowing in the supernatural has been prepared for us to freely enjoy. Can we read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9? Because even this morning we are we are we are leaving matters on the altar for God to address. Particularly issues that you you know you've been the one working with yourself. You are releasing them to God. You are saying, God, take this. Yes. Take this, not me. Take it. Not me. Take it. Take charge of this. I will do what you say, but you walk with me. He says, eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those, those who love him. Let's quickly look at how to flow in the supernatural. First is you have to see yourself as a medium or a channel by which God will receive glory. See yourself as the vessel. See yourself as the channel. See yourself as the medium that God can route interventions through. You know, when we say, God, anywhere I find myself, you can introduce yourself into that place. You know, when we read... I think it was 2 Corinthians uh, where we're studying the fragrances of Christ and we said that, that the knowledge that is knowledge will diffuse in every place. Wh- wherever I find myself, God should count me a vessel, a medium, a channel that he can route his interventions through. So if there's a difficult situation in a place and I find myself there, Because I have the right as a child of God. Thank you. You can go back to 1 Corinthians. No, no. But I see myself as a channel. A channel is a passage that God can find worthy. So for example, if if God is seeing a home here, he can find me useful to route his intervention into that home. When Paul was traveling, you know, when he said that he must see, uh, was it Caesar? And they were traveling in the boat. Paul in, on that boat was the preservation of the lives of the people on the boat. Now imagine if he was too concerned about seeing a man that he couldn't pick what God was doing in the spirit. He couldn't see the intervention of the angel. The lives of people would be lost and probably his life as well. So you must see yourself as a medium, as a channel through which God can take glory. See, don't don't plan to do great things. Plan that God will do great things through you. Don't, Don't say, I have all these plans. No, but rather reroute it that I have plan that God will do great things through me. That's the plan. So the plan is that I'm making myself more of a vessel because it is God working with them. So that God can find me a useful vessel. Because the solution is not with you. 
Interventions are not with you. For example, at times we feel like things should break at the seriousness of the issue. At times we feel like things should break at the tears of people. That, this person has really suffered though. That, what, what? This thing should just stop now. Like you've done your worst. The man that was born blind. He, he, he said, who sinned? Jesus said, you people are just, this guy is a vessel. He's, he's so that God can glorify himself. That's why they born this one blind. Yes. What a vessel. He said, they'll be like, like the heaven and the earth. They know that the reason they born this one blind. They said the reason, the reason that he was born blind, the reason is so that one day when I'm passing here, that day there will be glory recorded in heaven. What a man, what a vessel. Because people would have seen him as disadvantaged. They would have seen him as his problem, he's not tired of the problem yet. No. He says, Jesus answered, neither this man nor his parents sinned. But the works, that the works of God should be revealed in him. He said that's why he was born. It's so that there will be, a, in his own eternal record, they will say God intervened. So I'm saying to us, we, we are more of a vessel than people that want to do stuff. We are more of, if you see yourself as a vessel, the things God will pass through you. For, a, for example, see, don't, don't, don't have plan to make money, but have plan. That God will channel his phone through you. Yes. Don't worry. See, your, <laughs> your own need. When it, it, it's just like it's, it's just like God wants to do a project and is worth maybe one thousand naira, But your own need is one couple. So they will say, welfare. For you is meaning in God making you a vessel and a channel, your needs are completely and totally met, and that's why we don't see all God's provision as for us. Because what's, what's the size of our what's it like? Somebody did estimate all the money you need that you will never work again is no more than two million dollars. Like you want to live anywhere, all the money you need. Or like with that, like oh, niche anything more? You don't be anything why? With assume it, you are not doing anything again. You are not doing anything. You don't be anything why? You don't be looking at everybody going on Monday morning. Yeah, with two million dollars, with two million, you are you are f- like for like till you die. You are not you are not going to do anything. But the work of God. Two, mi- two million dollars is not enough. Yes. You know, someone that sold a startup, I sat with him because he's also a mentor to me. And <laughs> he sold the company for a money that he knows he can't buy it if he has money. That was the fee he bought it. And I never found out that the people that never planned to start anything great. Because he was a vessel. That company, they now have, they know them as companies that create people that start great companies. Like they know the company now, they call them something mafia. Because they know that there are people in that company that, I don't find out the reason why that was even possible. It was because he was blessed, actually. I found out later that, the reason, because I was, I was so big about, there are two other companies that hire people and, they don't just wake up one morning and say they want to start. And I found that one Pashu, because of his own yam, because of his own harvest, they had the harvest. Because of another person' work, which I know God blessed. See, when you see, okay, don't worry. He now said that, see, the least person, what the least person got, some of us will not work again. The least person, like at the barest moment, like, oh, yeah, and he shares. 
you've not worked with the company more than one uh, for more than one year, just like one year. What they got? Ah, you any anybody that's saying email to you, we say, who are you? Who are you? Seventy-five k. Who are you? Get out. Yeah, you will, you will, you will bush it. And I, because I respected his humility, because see, money can has the power to change you. But I still saw this guy, even when, because I knew him very well. I knew him very well, and I happened to have been mentored by him. He's, the, the state in which he is, is that it's not as though that recently he has been buying very strange things. But a football club, two football clubs. Yeah, he, he just wants to walk. Because I knew where we said, he just wants to walk and do great stuff. But, see, when your own need, when you now see the assignment that God has for you, you will find out your need. Is, is it car? He wants to, like, 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 talks. Is it talks he wants to buy now? Is new car he wants to buy? Our market is, ah, that job, eh, short declare, lay, want declare. No, he will just walk into a showroom. How much is this? Oh, okay, please, help us. Now, the needs, his needs are inconsequential when God was doing all of that. No, I'm not telling you what I heard. I'm telling you because I have access to him. So we can't, we can't take your need and conclude that everything should just be funnel to you. You would only get more than you even need when you are a channel. When they say the prosperity of God, I want to flow in the supernatural prosperity, you must be a vessel. If you don't see yourself as a vessel, you will get what you need. You will not get what God wants to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm, t- I'm completely telling you. Yesterday we sat down, we were reflecting. We were like, <laughs> see, we know that God, being the, because the prayer is more of use us than we want to be something. And I can tell you, brothers, see, God is faithful when you are a vessel. There, there are some things that you want to run away from saying on the mic. Because you will think that it's all about your need. But you won't flow in the, natu- in the supernatural that way. Because you are, your, you are your financier. So you have to look for how to make ends meet. Yeah. God is not in charge of your ends meet. You have to look for ways. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So don't joke with being a vessel. Don't joke with being a... See, you can think your need is so superficial. <laughs> it's so important. But I can tell you it's superfluity of nothingness. There's nothing in it. Tobini balloon. That's your need that is driving you crazy. It's just balloon. Helium gas is what is there. When you puncture it, it will blow. It's nothing. It's, I'm telling you, it is nothing. Because the way God will solve it, you, will, you would have appreciated that you estimated that you want to be a vessel that you want to meet a need. I always tell you, it's picant, picant, picanto. That's what I can. I'm like, ah, if you want to have it. But what, God did not be laughing. He says, eyes have not seen it. This one is thinking picanto. What a heart. What a heart. You want to have a child, be thinking that you want to mother the children God wants to bring to this earth. You want to do great things. Don't say you want to do it. I want to do the great things God, the kingdom of God wants to do. See, me, I'm a living testimony that they look for those that God will make vessels. Like they'll be looking for, they'll say, who is this person that can do this thing? They'll say, his name is this. When you go there, just look for him. This is even his nickname. Yeah. Because when you think just by yourself, it's no more than, it's no more than what man can provide. A company can meet all you, that your needs. A company, just paying salary, they can meet your needs. But what God wants to do through you is more than what a man can afford. So when I see myself as a vessel, because the solution is not with me, breakthrough is not with me. Yes. See, your, your, your resources, that one that you are so sure of, is at the mercy of another higher breakthrough. Yes. Always the people, see, don't think, don't think I'm sufficient in myself. Stuff look sis. You will say it's your money plus one error. Yes. Then you know how to go and do fundraising. Yes. 
Because the devil now knows. Because see, devil can raise a thing above your provision, but he can't raise anything above the provisions of God. You see now, I, I can go to the best hospital. There was a rich, wealthy man that died during COVID. See, that man, wherever he is here, if he's not born again, he has a deeper regret. Because he can afford all the hospitals in this whole world. But because people didn't know what COVID was, they could not touch it. They said there was no bed in Lagos. So he died. A billionaire in Dora, he died. Because people didn't know what COVID was. You know, people didn't want to touch. <laughs> they didn't know. Not like now that we know that uh, one malaria tablet will get you. And yeah, people didn't know. You didn't know he, he died. He died. And wherever he is now, if he's not born again, he's double regret. Because he knows he could have bought all the hospitals. Yeah. He, bed. he died because there was no bed. That he has mansion. He has king size or king sizes in his house. So you're, you're, what you are confident in is just at the mercies of what the devil can bring up. And you don't want to be living by that. You don't want to be saying, ah, the problem I can address is only this problem that uh, 500 k can handle. No. What if, one, if one million problem come, you will quake. You will backslide. No. But rather, your sufficiency is in God. You are a vessel that there is no blockage in you. You can keep routing the blessing. See, let God find you faithful. Your, your tendencies are not at, at even the point where you've prayed. Let him find you faithful. Let him look at you and say, have you seen my servant, my servant Laolu? Have you seen my vessel? That you, don't, you didn't even ask. He just said, where are the vessels? Where are the channels? Where are the pipes? And all the pipes that God has, they are all connected. They are connected to the assignment. Yes. They are connected to fulfilling destiny and purpose. So you think they, are, they have it for their own wealth? No. They have it because they are channels for God. Yes. They are vessels for God. They are mediums for God. Yes. Will you see your own home as a medium by which God can establish his kingdom? Yeah, that's where you will get bliss. Else you will work hard. And because you are dealing with another soul, you will find what is called the, 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 the difficulty in understanding another human being. You just say, ah, I read uh, sociology. They taught us how humans think. You, you will just find a... See, sociologists, they divorce. Why? Maybe they are the ones that understand how the brain is. Why can't they figure, ah, this guy wants to divorce me, then we can buy flour. <laughs> when the problems of head hold you, it's the only thing you can shout is, God, where are you there? <laughs> so see God as your sufficient because you are his vessel. Yeah. Don't tamper with his vessel. Don't put blockages. Let your ambitions align with his ambition. Yes. Number two, the knowledge of God that you have gets you flowing in the supernatural. Daniel told us that they are those that know they are God. They will be strong and they will do exploit. Doing exploit is you flowing in the supernatural. See, one of the things that we know in this house is that the endeavors that men go through and they see hell, we will go through them supernaturally and it will be easy. Yeah. It will be easy. Men will say, only God could have done this. Because of the knowledge of God that we have. So the knowledge of God gets you into flowing in exploits and in the supernatural. The knowledge of God. You need the knowledge of God. See, what you don't know about God, you can't get it done. Yes, sir. You can't get it done. You can't walk in a thing you know nothing about. Yeah. Where is this trust from? And where is the faith? Yeah. And where is the hope? There is no perimeter of trust, faith, and hope. Now, if, if I tell you that believe God. The question is, believe God for what? Believe God that he works miracles. That's a knowledge that you now have faith, trust, and hope for. If you don't know that he works miracles, there is no reference for trust. There is no reference for hope. And there is no reference for faith. So the knowledge of God gets you to walk in exploits. 
you know you can do. When you hear that, I am a miracle worker. Because his anointing is upon me. Just as it was on Jesus. Yes, that's a knowledge. That is a knowledge that you have. As God will be sending us to different places, we know blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Yeah. So we know there's, there's, no, there's no sorcery work. For example, when we go to look at you, no Indian charm can do anything. Yeah. No Indian charm. It's the knowledge of God that we have. Yeah. No divination will work. If one uh, macrosema, the word they call it, say and say, you this work, blah blah blah, no, it it won't stand. Because we know all power has been given to Jesus. So the knowledge of God, see, the knowledge of God you have about marriage is what you have trust for. That this thing is possible with my home. See, the Christian marriage is possible. The Christian home is possible. Is is the basis of your prayer point. Because when you when you say, I need to pray about my home, it's because you have a reference that is not looking like. Yes. Yeah, but when you don't know, you will think that you are not in, in trouble. You will think that you are having something that you both know that it won't last the test of time. So there won't be a point of reference for faith, hope, and trust when you don't have knowledge. You see, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So don't, don't be ignorant about the knowledge of God. You know, one of the exercises I do to myself, I read the scripture like I'm um, eating ching ching. Why? Why am I doing that? Because I just want the knowledge of God to be resident in my soul. No, no, not for understanding, not for anything. I'm just, the way, the way you would read newspaper and you just want information. I just do it. I just do that exercise. At times it can be 20 scriptures. Just be reading. Some related, some not related. Some while you are even trying that you see something. But the intention is always let the word. Bible says the word have I hid in my heart. That I mean, so the exercise is always let me have the word of God resident in my soul. Me, Mobite Shumati Beyo. Just have bank. Bank of the word. So I do that. And that even informs me into what I can walk in. Into the things I can, I can pray to God that God, this is a reality in you. Yes, yes, yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I would have touched on the last one, which is the gift of the Spirit. Oh, you all have the right to walk in the supernatural. We all. says as many as have believed to them he gave the right to become the sons of God you are a child of God the situation is not at your mercy sorry you are not at the mercy of the situation because you know the Lord walking with you he would accompany his word and even your words with the accompanying signs he will back them with signs you and your children, we would all say that you were made for signs and wonders. Nothing will proceed out of you and we will not be able to easily attribute it to God. Because you know that you are flowing in the will of God and you are flowing in the supernatural. Can we respond to God in thanksgiving? In thanksgiving.